Hello and welcome everyone to the War Thunder game. My name is Ariel Rifle, and in today's video, well, that will be a mainly a mission video, but just a quick announcement for you. Uh, first of all, as you did notice, I did release uh, War Thunder War Thunder video in the other language. Well, I did release it in the Polish language, which is my native language because I'm from Poland. Uh, don't worry, however. Everything that I will be covering in the in the Polish videos will also be covered in English. Uh, they will go head to head. You will notice probably from today that I will be releasing a double video. Uh, one will be with the English commentary. A second will be with the Polish commentary. So you won't miss a thing. Uh, I do promise that I will try to keep it up and. Um, but the downside of uh, of all this process is I won't be able to record the live commentary to the games. I will have to do it after the game. So, well, that's the price you have to pay for going with the with the double commentary. And uh, want to if I want to show uh, the same battle uh, twice in uh, well with the different commentary, dif different language commentary. But I do I do hope you will uh, you will understand it. As I did say, I do promise to not miss out anything. Uh, and yeah, that was the quick announcement. Also, remember, tomorrow, the Tuesday, uh, from 2200 hours, that's the GMT plus 2, I will be available in the game. And I will be, well, trying to squad with, uh, with some of you, maybe with all of you. If uh, if there won't be that much of an attention to 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 the game, uh, also uh, I am trying to to establish uh, some uh, voice communicator, so we will able to hear each other. And well, I am working on it, so be prepared to to uh, go either with the TeamSpeak. I do probably think that most of you do already have it. But the second uh, voice communicator of my choice will be the Mumble. Uh, I will set up the links to the download page uh, of the Mumble and the TeamSpeak in the video down below, so you can uh, you can download it. I don't know which one I will be uh, I will be using, so well, I am negotiating a bit right now with the uh, some of my friends that actually rent the TeamSpeak and the Mumble servers. Uh, if they allowed me to, to do something like that, well, I will definitely do it. Okay, so that was the time, just just for you to remember. Uh, about the tiers, just a quick reminder, I will be using free lineups up to tier 3, tier 5 and the tier 9. Uh, so you can uh, prepare yourself before uh, joining the squad. We can also try to go with some higher tiers if uh, everyone in the squad will uh we'll be okay with that so guys enough of me talking uh let's go let's jump on to to the battle and see how i will derp today and i do get myself into the ground strike over the rice terraces i am flying my british setup as you will see in the moment my british setup after tier 5 so couple of the of the boomerangs, Spitfire and Hurricanes, also the Beaufort. But first here, because it is the ground strike mission, I will choose the Bu Fighter just to go for the for the bombers. And right here I did spot I have the setup from the previous game, which was the uh, port, I believe, or two towns. Uh, I don't remember correctly, but I did have the torpedo mounted on my Bu Fighter. And I didn't have enough time to, to, to change it so it will be spawning on me reducing my my maneuverability and all the climb rate and stuff like that so I did decide that I will be dropping it every time it spawns so yeah not paying attention in the beginning of the battle can can be pretty pretty ugly well, right here I do spot uh, some of the guys from the Rust 73, uh, the clan, and well, because they are from clan, they will be my uh, first priority right here. 
I am trying to get a couple of shots into the MC202 and MC200. Well, my tail gunner is uh, more accurate than I, so no luck in here. But I do manage to put a couple of shots into this MC202, was it? Or 200? Uh, 202. And shortly after, uh, I did get a message for work aircraft destroy. Well, I don't know what happened here because, well, I didn't get any message that uh, I critically damaged uh, damage him. So just the just the information that, well, he did choose another aircraft, maybe. Uh, here I'm going after the BF-110 uh, C4 because, well, he is bigger threat than the MC-202 or the MC-200. Because of his, uh, all of, well, it is a uh, smaller version of the Bu Fighter, and right here I do manage to knock out his pilot, and the guys from the Ras 73 are charging again. So the BF 109E, I do place couple of shots into him. He do manage to destroy my wing and my engine, and right here a very funny situation do happened. Well. I do get a kill, they don't, because, well, I did destroy him, and, well, the probably the thing that happened here is uh, I did manage to, to cause some damage to his wing or his uh, steering, uh, and he couldn't pull up in time to not crash into me. But, well, crashing takes two, I could also be, uh, well, going away from him and trying to, to outmaneuver him. But, well, it is the boomerang time and right here the SU-2 over our base well I don't like anyone flying over over our base so I'm trying to, to get some some hits a uh, critical hit to the gear leg but well it was more than enough to destroy him probably he did uh, scratch the the hangers uh, down there and that caused him uh, to lose his aircraft uh, right here I'm going after the uh, SB2 amble well, probably because well I did see send him here and I'm thinking well if he came here once he will be trying again yeah it was the SB2 M but he's retreating into into his uh, his airspace I would say with uh, more of their guys than ours so no I won't be chasing after him over there. Instead, I will go after this uh, MC200 because, well, he is alone. There are three guys on him. And right here, I didn't know it. this was the kill steal from someone else because, well, I didn't pay enough of attention to what was going on. And maybe I did steal this kill from someone. Here, another BF 110C4. The guy tries to go with his machine guns for me, but. I do try to aim at his wings and I do manage to, to destroy him just in time well in time I would say <laughs> right in the in the minute I, I should be and right here I'm going after the PE3 and this PE3 is well if you ever see something like that right here I was thinking okay he's down <laughs> He won't be able to pull up from it, but well, no! Those are Russian aircrafts. They can fly through woods and nothing is happening to them. Well, to be exact, uh, he did lose the control over the uh, over his aircraft, so maybe he ain't so tough after all. Uh, here, couple, only a couple of shots into the P-40 and the S... Uh, SB2M or something like that, I didn't notice but I am trying to go after after the Spitfire because well he's more of a threat and guys over there have their problems uh, and here I do need to deal with the Spitfire I am trying to get a kill but someone else did came and put, uh, put an end to him so turning well, the IL-4 is way too high for me, so I will be trying to go somewhere here to, to help. I'm just checking my back to see if there's anyone on my tail, any immediate threat. 
and the guy that I did shoot down a minute ago now sits in the in the view fighter and he is smiling his face because well he will be the one to kill me with my with my boomerang well I do raise my flaps well I always always keep forgetting about raising my flaps after I'm done uh, maneuvering or out maneuvering someone and well Getting some speed without uh, with the flaps open is a bit hard. So right here, I do see two bombers going after after our guys, and you did probably catch a glimpse of this view fighter going after me. Well, the vengeance is is something that best served cold. Right here, I do lose my wing. I did realize that it is the view fighter that is going after me. But right here, well, my engine is dying. Well, it is dead right now, so I don't have any chances to outmaneuver that guy. And yeah, I do lose my tail, I do lose my aircraft, and he do get his vengeance on me. And well, I do have still a couple of more aircrafts. I will go with the Spitfire Mark I right now. So let's see what I can do with the Spitfire. Okay, couple of bad guys in here. The PE3, the view fighter. Well, I will go after the PE3 because well, he is going to, to to drop some bombs over our our base. So he will be my priority target. Well, second of all, he is a bomber. And the SU is trying to, to get him. And well, I don't want to be shooting the our SU to you because well, it is a ground strike mission, and well, we do kind of need bombers for for the ground strike mission. So, shooting one of uh, one of our bombers won't be something smart. Right here, I'm trying to put some shots onto the P3. But then, uh, probably at this point, I do check my radar and I do see that someone is coming from behind. And despite the fact that I could catch the P3 and uh, probably kill him, I do decided to break off and go after the MC202, which uh, that was the guy I was going from the, from the back. So... Turning fight with the Spitfire in his MC-202 isn't the good idea and he's desperately trying to get the SU-2 and I am desperately trying to save the SU-2 with a bit of a luck I will well I did succeed in it but getting the the full gore the MC-202 down was uh, was very tricky right here I do believe he did crash into the SU2 but I did get a credit for uh, for the kill because well maybe I did shot his wing just the seconds before he crashed into SU2 I don't know but well I did I did get a credit so I'm not complaining well about the battle we are about to lose we do still have uh, 30 ground targets and they only have 4 so they do have the upper hand so I'm trying to get a couple of more shots, couple of experience and credits more before the battle will end and uh, yeah couple of shots here, couple of shots there right here I still don't know what happened I think that I did scratch him with my wing but well I didn't suffer any damage and probably he didn't suffer any damage but yet again I'm trying to save someone else from the uh, from the enemy and I do pay for it with my life well right about now <laughs> Uh, someone did ram me. I don't know who it, who it was. I don't care. But ramming, 
really seriously ramming and the battle is about to end right now so I did get a fighter award for it let's see the score nine air kills first on the scoreboard credits and experience 14,000 credits and 23,000 experience not so bad and guys that would be all for today uh, just as a quick reminder there's the time I will be flying tomorrow that's the Tuesday and 9 of April from the 2200 hour the GMT plus 2 for the tiers I will be flying a free combination of tiers uh, up to tier 3 tier 5 and tier 9 so prepare your lineups uh, add me to your friend list so you will know whenever I will log in to the game and remember about uh, downloading or well if you already have uh, I will give you the details on the mumble or the team speak free uh, depending on which we will be using well as for the game itself well it could go better it could go worse uh, niner kills uh, topping the scoreboard but again losing losing the game well it sometimes happens it's not a big deal well I do love my British you know that I know that and I did enjoy that game very very much uh, so guys not to keep you to keep you too long again thanks for watching thanks for tuning in remember about liking the video remember about subscribing to my channel and that would be it for today Iron Rifle out